Seth and Ban Energy Drink Review. What's up everybody? I'm Seth Fowler and today is something a little bit different. Yes, the video is called Sneaker Shopping in Philly and that's what we're going to do. But before we do that, this company called Marone, how do you pronounce that? I have no idea. This company sent me like cases of energy drinks and they're like, hey, why don't you try these out? So I figured I'd invite my friend Ben over. He's an energy drink connoisseur. You guys seem to like when we did the, uh, I guess the food box unboxings. So I figured we should do that with these, I guess, because we've got like four different flavors. You got a bunch. Oh, disclaimer. One, they haven't paid me for this, so I'm not going to hold back if I don't like it. Two, I, I really just thought this would be fun to do. If you guys don't like this, I won't do it again. So out of the four different flavors, we've got Fuji Apple, Mango, is that Acai? How do you pronounce that? Acai. Acai. Kiwi Passion Fruit. Someone's probably going to flame me for the way I said that. <laughs> and then Peach Pear. If you guys want to try these, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to check them out on Amazon. And uh, let's, let's do it. I'm going to try one I haven't tried. I haven't tried the Kiwi Passion Fruit. Okay, here we go. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. It's not as sugary as I expected. Yeah, it's definitely a little different. It doesn't have corn syrup, so you definitely you definitely get kind of that really like flat neutral taste. <laughs> You're right about that. It doesn't kind of have that, that bite after you swallow. I wasn't kidding, he, he knows what he's talking about. This really, so what I will say is like, I mean, it, it doesn't taste like a real fruit, but it doesn't taste like, you know, those fake, like, you know when you get a watermelon drink, it tastes like a fake watermelon. It definitely tastes like kiwi passion fruit. More kiwi than passion fruit, to be honest, but... Yeah, this is pretty solid. It's not bad. My, I didn't have really high expectations coming into this, but it's a it's a really nice flavor. I seriously have cases of these, so if you want, take like a bunch on here. The, the vitamins are measured in micrograms, but there's zero of them. We have zero micrograms of... Uh, not a great source of your uh, daily micronutrient needs. That's fair. Mango acai has an, like a nice... It's like it's bitter. It has a nice little bite to it. I think most drinks like really stay far away from like sort of offensive flavors. Like it's a little... Not offensive, but you know, it can, it can be a little um, polarizing. That was an astute, astute observation. I like that they're clear. Oh, they're clear? Yeah. Okay, I was about to pour some into my hand. <laughs> That one tastes like a real kiwi. Yeah, it really has like the personality of a kiwi. It's like, hey, I'm either a fruit or a small bird. Yeah, not the bird though. No, I've never tasted it. It's never the bird. bird. I think if I had to order them in order of favorites, it would be for me, Fuji apple. I, I guess kiwi is second, right? Fuji apple, kiwi, mango, and then peach. Probably do uh, kiwi, peach, mango, apple. Kiwi, peach, mango. Really? No, this is not, yeah, I mean. You don't like yeah, apple that much? I. It tastes like. I just don't like apples that much. That's just. Oh. My, that's just my person. What do you think if we mix them all? Is that like childish? Should we not do that? We can try it. I'm gonna go get a glass. I actually don't think this is gonna taste bad. It should. You know what we should do? I have a real fruit set. I'm starting to get hyped, man. I'm really starting to get like jittery. I'm not jittery. No, the one thing that they said is that you don't get jittery. And I'm not getting jittery. Well, okay, there's nothing. I'm really like excited though. Huh. It doesn't, it tastes like a completely different drink altogether. <laughs> it it tastes like, it tastes like a stereotypical energy drink flavor now. <laughs> it does. It really does taste like full throttle. I really don't mind that at all. I think this is the ideal version. <laughs> well guys, that pretty much wraps it up for the energy drink portion of this uh, video. Um, next, I'm gonna go shower and get ready because I'm gonna go sneaker shopping in Philly with uh, my other friend, Osman. And uh, we're gonna go Soul Exchange and hopefully hit up some other stores. So that's the next plan. But Ben, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. No and uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Seth and Ben, energy drink review. So guys, we're out here at Soul Exchange in Philly, and I'm with my friend Osman, and I'm trying to grab something today. I want to grab something to review, but honestly, most of the shoes that are here I've already reviewed. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might actually pick up a pair of Revenge Storms, because I've never done a pair of those before, and they're not bad looking, so maybe, we'll see. Osman, what are you picking up today? Not sure yet.
So Asma and I just left Soul Exchange. We're gonna do some sneaker shopping around Philadelphia. I think the first stop is Hubick. So they got the new Yeezy boots. Um, I don't know what to think of these. They're all right. Season six. I feel like if they were just mid-top sneakers, they would fly. And these ones are a little too dressy, but I think they're fire. You know what, at first I didn't like the Commandos, but the more I look at them, I don't mind them. I wonder how comfy they are. Yo, Aspen, what do you think of the Commandos? No? Good evening, everyone. The highlights of the news this Thursday. Traffic accidents. Okay, so I still need a pair of CDG Converse's, and I'm wearing the CDG Supreme shirt right now, so today might be the day. I don't know, we'll see. That white pair is looking real nice. So I've never seen this Golden Goose Deluxe brand before, but they're kind of dope. It's interesting how they look like they're worn in, which I think is a cool touch. I didn't think I was going to like that look when I saw them from a distance, but now I'm seeing them up close. <laughs> I don't know, I gotta dig it. It's kind of like your ripped jeans, you know, it's that artificial sort of distressing that's going on, but it definitely doesn't look bad. And the plus side is, no matter how much you wear them, they're still going to look like they're brand new. Still not sure how I feel about these guys. I just don't love the color. And also, the infrared hit on the back, I, I just really can't stand. But other than that, I mean, the 14s aren't a bad shoe. They also got the Rashid Wallace Art of a Champion AF1s. These are actually dope. That's a shoe I really like. I'm sorry, guys. I just can't with these. I can't. The leather actually does feel nice, though. But man, that side sort of like asymmetrical lacing. Can't do it. Okay, so, so far, so good. We've gone to some pretty dope stores. We went to Villa, which I didn't show you guys because there wasn't really much going on. Lapstone and Hammer, Ubik. Some really great spots, but just nothing I really wanted to pick up. And the one shoe I did want to pick up at Soul Exchange wasn't my size, even though they told us it was. When I came back with the cash, it wasn't the right size. So unfortunately, probably no shoes today, but we're gonna hit up like one or two more spots and see if there's anything going on. Much wraps it up for today. We had a really good time just seeing what was going on, like the sneaker culture in Philly. Always a good time. See you later, Austin. Thanks for chilling. And I'll see you guys in the next one.